Hello, everybody. It is Joel here from PC Games N, and I am back again with Phil. Hi. And it is the third episode of Phil's, so far not super triumphant, Civ Six <laughs> playthrough. 150 turns uh, with the Japanese. Still alive, baby. After Still alive. 44 turns. It's <laughs> been so a bit of a disaster. Set the scene for us, would you, Phil? Okay, well... It's, it's gone quite badly wrong because I'm at war really early on with the Americans for no reason. They declared a surprise war on me. Yeah, I feel like they're at war with you more than you're at yeah, war with them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? I haven't seen much combat yet, but they're approaching my single city, Kyoto, and that's my other big problem. I wanted to settle another city nice and early, but I sent some settlers out without any armed guards. Oh, someone's made a wonder. Yeah, I'm, I'm in no position Not to be you, worrying obviously. about wonders. Um, and I lost the settler Thousands early on. Without love. So... Not one. I'm, I'm really on the back foot. Uh, my warriors are all... I've only got one warrior unit. He's he's mile, miles away from uh, Kyoto. So what I might have to do is try and build or buy a warrior unit to defend Kyoto. Because if I lose that city, then it's basically all done. I can't um, build any more settlers. That's me done for the rest of the game. I can spend the remaining 105 turns just walking a warrior around or, or concede defeat. In the meantime, I've still got to sort of pot around with the tech. Um, on the off chance that I get out of this scrape. But there come America. They've got eyes on Kyoto. I'm worried. I've, I've got to be honest, I'm worried. It's, yeah, it's it's, it's really difficult, this, the early I game. I don't underrate the value of military tradition. But if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. So that's allowed me uh, a couple of boosts to my civics um, system. So you drop in a bunch of cards with buffs. Um, into a number of slots, the number of slots and the colours of cards that you can put into them, that's all determined by the civics that you research. So it's a sort of fairly new system for Civ 6 that I haven't been paying that much attention to because I've got more pressing matters, i.e. war with the Americans. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, last thing you want to do now is build a granary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the warrior. You've I've gone for the warrior, which I've, is a I've, good I've, idea. I've got it straight away. I've, I've splashed the, uh, the production on that. And that will keep me uh, defended against the Americans. However, I've still got a civic tree to... I'm not, I'm not paying much attention to which civics I'm researching at this point. Got to get these barbarians out of the way, because they'll come to Kyoto as well if I don't. Uh, and the workers are just sort of standing there at this point. Got some well, they're probably scared, I mean... Yeah. Uh, Brazil have just built a new city there to the west by the look of it, and they've got a scout there. So Brazil are actually doing really well at this stage. Um, who Do we know who met? built that wonder? Was it, was I think it was Pedro. Was it? Yeah, I think it was, was Brazil. It? So they're doing very well. London is located to the extreme south of the map, if you can see on the bottom left yeah. there. We've met Victoria. She's been okay with us. but She's a bit um, standoffish, I thought. Yeah, and she didn't want to help us out in this war with the Americans. Neither, Not because of any great sort of uh, negotiations on my part, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, we're on our own here. So I'm fortifying my warriors for a defensive bonus in case the Americans attack you my tread city. on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. So, as we've seen before from other civilizations, they signpost what they want, their objectives from the game. She doesn't like anyone else being on her continent, which is a bit of a problem, because this is a massive continent. I was going to say you're all on one continent, yeah. so you don't really have a choice. So it's going to be that much more difficult to keep her sweet, um, particularly when we've sort of ham-fistedly asked her to go to war, and it's not really worked out. It's part of the human condition. To want to so diplomatic situation isn't great at this point. Um, yeah, it's it's really difficult. I don't know what to tell you. It, it's so difficult. Um, I'm I'm considering purchasing some units um, to it's all bolster very the war reactive. effort. This is the trouble, Phil. I think it's in sort of. You're chasing the field to use That's a quick it. Term. Exactly. I, I can't plan anymore. I'm just having to react to what's coming towards my city. So I've decided to build some archers. They'll be a nice defensive unit to keep garrisoned in Kyoto. Um, I've got two loads of uh, barbarian of, of warriors rather within my grounds, and then the returning warriors who've leveled up once for beating the barbarians earlier on. Mm -hmm. They're coming home to deal with the American threat. Now they've got two. Um, work, uh, sorry, two warrior units around my city. Uh, and that's a bit of a worry. So the uh, the war's getting hot. Oh, some barbarians, barbarians just, just showing well. up. Do you know what I mean? I'm only really 49 turns in. And this does seem pretty brutal. It's like oh, full it's war. So here we well, go. You're being pe pegged for a major defeat, according to the little overlay then. They've got more health after that than we do. 
However, if I can just sort of rotate my units, now it's, it's, right. it's enough to scare them off. But I my see. thinking is I can rotate those two warrior units so that the oh. ones are the most health. Oh, you're trying to do some diplomacy. Yeah, I'm hoping that enough time has passed now that I can <laughs> declare peace. You've just twatted a load of his soldiers. I doubt he's going to be your friend now. Yeah. Well. Oh, he's on. He's on bad terms with almost everyone. Yeah. So that's well, where. Phil, it's him. I think that's. Yeah, I, th I genuinely think that's the case. I'm hoping that by declaring friendship with the other nations, that might be a deterrent. What a conversation. Sure. All right, mate. I am your mate. Wonderful. Goodbye. <laughs> am I going to... I'm going to try and make a deal for Victoria again. again. Now, you tried this in episode two and it didn't go well. You're going to give her some... Oh, you've just given it to her. I've given her the gift of open borders because our relationship wasn't great before. It's still bad. Still mm. unfriendly, apparently. It takes more than open borders to win you Victoria. You and Pe Pedro's remember. loving it. Nice little compliment. He's all yours. So... I'm hoping that in the medium term, Roosevelt will see that I'm good mates with Pedro and he'll be like, fair enough, let's not take on two fronts. They fleed. Fled. <laughs> flooded. A America has fled. A America has flooded. He's done well there. Right, so I've got a reasonably big army now in quite a short space of time. Uh, I've got some archers. They might be able to take on either that barbarian scout or the warriors in the northwest. I'm going. I'm taking the fight to them, though. I can see it. I like it. I want some revenge. In the meantime, I've, I've got something to build in my capital, and I'm, I'm, am I going to build something Are that isn't combat-based? Yes, I'm building a watermill. That will increase the um, growth rate of my capital. Yeah. So in case anyone didn't see Ep One, as if anyone hasn't, um, this isn't live. This was we've done this, and now we're doing the VO for it. So just seeing it, that's why Phil doesn't really know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't really know. What I'm doing. <laughs> In a different way, though. I've um, built. I've I've spent spent uh, the money on a settler now. He cost me about five hundred and fifty. But with all this war going on, I just I couldn't risk spending a load of turns building a settler the usual way. So I've splashed the cash. I'm yeah, going to send him probably to the south. Recently. Yeah, uh, I, and try and get another city built up. But it's um, it's it's a lot more challenging than I'm used to in my early game with Civ. I like to play Civ as quite a relaxed, mm. slow-paced game, um, and I'm just fighting for survival at this rate. Um, so I've positioned my units there. Am I going to fortify to try and get a bit more health? I am. And for some reason, I'm hell-bent on having some barbarians near here. I think I'm trying to create a route uh, that's relatively safe to get the settlers down from Kyoto somewhere near this river and lake because that I looks see. like a Reasonably good place to build a city. Well, you've got wheat, you've got water, you've got wood. What do you need? All the W's. You can. <laughs> the three W's are accounted for. Yeah. Now there's a bit of a fracas going on to the north with some barbarians. The archers have got their measure though, I think. Or well, they certainly will do if I need to bring uh, the warrior units out of Kyoto. There we go, they get their revenge. Yeah, you've got this. And just to the north, actually, there's a city-state, Laventa. Um, what I can do with them is... Uh, I think I can send convoys um, up to them to win their favour, and different types of city states can give you different boosts. Um, so yeah, they've they've definitely got the technological advancement uh, advantage on me, have America, and I think I'm just realising that and been slightly paralysed with fear here. But nonetheless, getting that second city settled so that um, if America do take Kyoto, that would be a disaster, but I'll at least have somewhere else. Mm. Trying to get them out of harm's way. Uh, and what I'll probably try doing in a, in a turn or two is uh, trying to make a peace treaty with Roosevelt again because it just seems so needless, all this. It did. It was very, like, out of the blue. He was banging on about, you know, being peaceful and friends and, you know. And then one day he just, he just you know, woke up on the wrong side of his bed and thought, I'm having some of that. A surprise war. The grand irony is Roosevelt's objective is that he wants peace on his continent. And then he goes and wages war on his own continent. Shameless. So, I think I've just about got the measure of it. I think I'm going to hold the Americans at bay and probably deal with these barbarians. I need, I need at some point to get their camp in the north. But, I've got settlers to a reasonably good place for a city. Will I build here? Well, but there's more barbarians. Is that more? Are those uh, yours? More barbarians yeah, have just turned is. up. It's a scout. So if I settle there, then the scouts will run back to their base and they'll send warriors and Relentless, isn't it? Cavalry over to um, destroy my city. And there's some slingers. 
another barbarian unit, but uh, no match for my archers. It is a bit, it's a bit Wallace and Gromit, isn't it? I really like it. The yeah. Animations. Yeah, very new uh, style in Civ. I really like the look of the Fog of War, actually. When you zoom out, it's sort of old map yeah. look. That yeah, you I like that. It's cool. Um, so you can actually see there's a barbarian encampment not far from where, I, where I'm looking to settle. Uh, before that, though, let's try and do some Still diplomacy. Pal Pedro. Let's make a deal. Will you protect me, Pedro? So I want, I want them to. Oh no, I'm offering to join their war with Victoria. Yeah, well, could, for some see, reason. what you really want is him to join your war. Yeah. Do you want to click can, on the other side of that? Can there I make we that go. Happen? No. With Victoria. It's confusing, isn't it? It is quite. So confusing. I give up on that. I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I, I think you, you did what I'd have done. Yeah. Um, I consider the idea of trading whales with him, and I think... Even whales for 30 turns. Nah, forget it. Uh, that would make my population a bit happier, but my population's really small because I've only got one city, so I don't need to worry Why about that yet. Why does your population yet. want whales? Um... <laughs> Beluga? I don't know. I don't know what they get out of having whales, but it makes them happier. So, I've leveled up. Uh, my archers have proven themselves victorious against their many foes. Yeah, I well. get to either boost their ranged attack or their defensive. If once you can find the option. Yeah. <laughs> Which really seems to be struggling to do. But First anyway. off, let's take out these slingers. Yeah. Very okay. satisfying. Oh, go. Yeah, it's good. Our promotion promotion available, available now. Interesting. That seemed to have jumped the gun. I think I've got to do it next turn, though. Ah, okay. So this is very much a work in progress build. The game's not out until October. Um, plenty of sort of little things for, for access to polish up in the meantime so this isn't representative of the of the final game um but it does give a sort of broad idea of the new mechanics and uh the new systems and how they knit together mm. so brazil is still after a, a new city i think by the look of it they've sent the scout out uh brazil are just sort of floating above all of this they're doing quite well they've got a wonder they're like running in the middle of a war but no one seems to mind they've got some sort of immunity i think they're doing with, rather well um, yeah very well better than me i'd say at this point although i'm you know sort of secretly proud to still be even alive you're clawing it back um my settlers are right near some barbarians here and i don't want to lose them again but those barbarians can only move one tile at a time so they're so relatively safe yeah Clear them out of the area. Once they're all dead, the shirtless men, I'll be able to finally... What a moment that'll be, my second... Well, it'll have taken bloody 60 turns or so <laughs> to get there, but we'll all be glad of it, I'm sure. I mean, we'll it's a disaster. Table, you've, you've got to get a second city within 20 turns, in the old civs anyway. Um, so I'm embarrassed about that, but the just the situation dictated it. Mm -hmm. And I did lose a, a settler, which set me back loads. So I've gained a, like a bonus that. against land units there for my archers. I like that little animation, they sort of threw their bows up and caught them, that was great. Satisfying, wasn't it? Um, uh, next, I think I'm going to try and get my settlers into a position where they can do live up to their names and settle. Yeah. World map's getting a bit bigger now, I've, I've explored a fair bit and I've also gained a bit of map intel from uh, dealing with Victoria. I don't know where Roosevelt's capital is at this point. They get to level up as well. Nice. So they've got a, a bit of the old tortoise. Defensive bonus there. That might help them. I've got to build my. I've got to push my settlers even further back. Now what's happened is, I've sort of got a, a bigger army than I need now because America's run off, and it's just the barbarians. But I'm still paying the unit maintenance cost for this this bigger army. Put them to use. Send them up against the barbarians up here. I feel like if I was you, I'd have just taken revenge on Teddy Roosevelt and just. Steamrolled him. Yeah, just gone for it. Yeah, uh, maybe Probably I should unwise, have Probably unwise, but... Who knows? He had a chariot, though. I'm not sure I had anything that could get uh, rid of maybe. a chariot. It might have taken my whole army just to get rid of that. Okay, we're, we're almost in a position where we can settle now, but look at how many... Do you know what I mean? The barbarians just keep coming. It seems like a busy map, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Brazil might be getting their war on. Well, that would help to thin out numbers a little it bit. Would, Brazil it? are doing a little bit too well, if you yeah. ask me. So I've... I've completed my water mill and that's given me a boost for my next tech. What would I build next? Probably not military. You're loving the archers at the moment. I've gone with that. Okay. <laughs> Take it, you'd have, uh, if you had your time back, you'd have done something different. I'd have probably gone for something a bit more civic focused, but... Um, yeah, it's very uh, unity at the moment. Not maybe, yeah, maybe at this point, um, 
I'm still thinking about exacting my revenge. Who knows? Because I'm still pushing my warriors out. Well, hopefully um, one day soon you'll get that second city built. But, well, I um, think I'm almost. I think I'm about that's three turns be, I away. I think that's going to be one for the next episode. Because uh, you know you're still struggling on the war. So yeah, if you, if you like the look of this video and want to see where Phil's civilization goes, then subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you next time. Catch you later. Thank you.